And back to the top with Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> she just ignored you. <laughs> completely. She does completely ignore you. She does not care. <laughs> Dang, I'm trying to smack talk and all I get is a wall. The system power levels appear to be too high. Crossboom can't handle it much longer. He can take it. Now, as soon as his exoskeleton begins to congeal, raise temperatures by 300 degrees for precisely 5 seconds. Then, cut all power. Raising temperatures now. Cutting the power now. <laughs> My equipment. Inferno flight. Prepare my ship. We're leaving. I hope the tracker you attached to that Autobot has worked. We find ourselves back in what used to be a repair room filled with chunks of rubble, wires, and a hole in the ceiling. The hologram of Alpha Trion continues to flicker on its side. Ground Trump's fingers close up, then expand back out. His optics slowly brighten to a soft orange. The beam he is under covers most of them. Only his like left hand and his head stick out from underneath it at a weird angle. Due to the amount of rubble and the sheer size of the beam, you can't quite tell if it's pinning him down or crushing him. The room you are in looks like a dead end due to the rubble blocking off uh, what could have been the only entrance in or out of this room. But luckily for you, it appears that during all of the commotion, it ripped a hole into one of the walls, exposing a crack big enough for a small wolf size bot to slip through <laughs> small wolf huh? huh that's a hard one um hmm, i'm gonna think this one out a little bit <laughs> do you think you can fit through that crack i don't, I don't <laughs> think so <laughs> pretty i think it's more of your size <laughs> uh yeah I, I will try to fit through the crack okay as you're doing that eight wheeler what is it you're doing i am going to ground shops aid trying to see if i can Get check if he's being pinned and start kind of moving stuff around. Free him. You run to Ground Trop and Ground Trop tries to look up at you and his words kind of repeat and stutter. I, 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 d- I, 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 boss, I paid my share of our, our, our sins. I'm, I'm so sorry. They, they, we supposed to kill the, 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 the team. He told me it was just just going to ch- change in command. He tries to reach for your hand. Are you going to hold that? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Ground Trump grabs your hand. I, I, I miss them, boss. We have a lot to talk about. Let me get you out of here first, and then we have a conversation. As you're trying to get some of the rubble off of him, Energon begins to appear and seep from underneath. He looks down and stares for a moment before looking back up at you. You can see his soft orange optics begin to slowly fade and his grip on your hand slowly begins to lessen. His head drops and the color of his eyes and his body fade to a gray. He's dead. Trying to dig him out. Roll me an intellect check. It's a three. <laughs> Everything's fine. You don't notice anything different. Um, oh, great. You're still trying to get the, the rubble off him, but you, you know he's dead, clearly. Wolfer, as you're slipping through the crack in the wall, do you want to look back and see what's going on and possibly roll for an intelligence check? Yeah, I'll uh, take a peek just to see him, you know, hold the hands as it brings me back some pretty dark memories. 17. 
you look back and you kind of take a double take looking at this ground chop character and you see the number 15 kind of glow on his forehead and that number was not there before you fell into this hole what is that i'm talking to a wheeler what's what look at his look at his forehead it's here's a number uh, uh i try to i pick it up uh, or not not pick it up but kind of like try to tilt it so i can see better do i do i have an idea of the number or is it just a number just a number you're yeah. not sure what it means it's just kind of weird so I, I point that out and i tell him about it and then i kind of continue creeping through the wall okay i will let a wheeler roll another intelligence check to see if he sees the number <laughs> Wolfers just hallucinating. Ten intelligence, or you know, no, come on, another three. It's really, you're just very confused on what Wolfer just said. You think he's playing some sort of sick joke? It's not time for jokes, Wolfer. You literally are stupid. I'm gonna keep calm. Okay, so you you're able to slip through this crack and into this adjacent room you find it's completely covered in dust and wet but you can still make out some of the items and objects in here there's piles of shanix and gold a singular grenade and for some reason a dead body that seems to be holding on to something very tightly it's hard to tell what they may transform into but on one of their shoulders it reads Zephyr Industries, M-T-O, in initials. Um, I think for safety reasons, I'm going to pick up the grenade first. Okay, you have a grenade. I'm going to put it in my inventory, and then uh, I will pick up the Shanix and gold as well. Okay. How much do I pick up again? You pick up 1,000 Shanix and 50 gold. Okay, I'll give. I'll split it in half with the uh, eight-wheeler. Let me get out of here, just out of okay. respect. And then um, I'm going to observe this this bot and see if I know what he's wearing that's from my company. Can I do that? Yeah. So you don't have to roll perception because there's it's I right just there. It. Yeah. yeah. So he has the word Zephyr Industries and MTO. And what to you that means made to order. This is a type of bot used to manufacture for war. Okay. You're not sure what this one turns into though. That's the only thing that has you slightly confused. He's just a typical MTO. He shouldn't be, and this is me thinking, he shouldn't be much of a, a threat. But I really want to look at uh, what he's holding on to. What is that? Yeah, roll me an intelligence check real quick. Please don't give me the dumb. <laughs> I'm a teen again. What's going on? <laughs> two threes and two seventeens. Can we, really? go, can we go roll for the lottery on this one? <laughs> well, first, found the hack. Oh. Uh, <laughs> On this body, it slowly starts to begin to appear. The number 15 is also on its bot's head. They have no badge. Wait, also? The number, yeah, also the number 15. Yeah. They have no badge. They've been collecting dust for a long time. But what this bot seems to be holding is a blade that's darker than anything you've ever seen before. It even looks like it warps light surrounding it as if pulling it in. I pull the blade from the stone kind of like uh <laughs> gosh what's his name oh uh, King King Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. yes so it's not yeah. it's not in the stone it's in his hand i know but i just okay. like pull it i pull it out like king arthur pulled it out of the stone okay because that's a dark blade and i kind of want to feel epic at the moment yeah so you heroically pull it from this character's grasp and the moment you do that you start hearing cogs click, and the dead body in front of you transforms into a bomb. Oh, outstanding. I run back through the wall. <laughs> into a bug? Into ball, a bomb. 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 Oh, bomb. Uh, I run back through the wall. Roll me at athletics. Athletics, that I can do. 20. 30, 20. Oh, wow. 30, 20. 30, You're 30, just getting 20. away with all kinds of stuff, huh? Fair. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> so you you are able to run back through the crack. You're like you're a bot. You don't have to breathe. You run back through the crack. You don't really heave because you're a bot, but you're you're in a slight panic. You make it to the other side, and eight wheeler. You see Wolfer come back through, and he's got this blade, and he looks like to be somewhat panicking. What do you do? What is it, Wolfer? You okay? Um, 
Bomb, run, bomb, bomb. Follow me, we're running the opposite direction from that wall. Bomb. Do, do you trust me on this one, or do you want to go see for yourself? Oh, I, I trust you. <laughs> you both move to the opposite side. There's nowhere else to run, because it's a dead end. The bomb goes off. The rubble and debris that was mostly holding ground drop pinned is exploded. And from the explosion, uh, the wall is exposed and a much bigger room on the other side of what was the rubble is a giant circular computer in the center of a massive room standing about a hundred feet tall. You're on a balcony that appears to have a bridge that connects from the room you're in all the way to the computer. You can see the Blue Jay has been brought down and placed on one of the four landing pads on either side of this computer, just below the bridge. Many bots are lined up on the walls of this massive room, connected to cords that protrude from the back of their necks. Oh boy. Eight wheeler, roll me an intelligence check. Another Please. one? Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I believe in you. 17. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wolfer, you've done a good job. You don't have to roll it again. You succeeded twice. You can see this. Each and every one of these bots that are lined up on the wall have the number 15 kind of glowing on their forehead. Okay. Hey, uh, hey Wheeler. Yeah? You're a tall man. Uh, listen. That, uh, bomb that went off, that was originally a bot, and he had the number 15 on his head. So I'm gonna try and draw up some assumptions here and assume that those bots over there also turn into bombs. So, tread carefully. Okay. Is that what you were trying to tell me before? Well, I was running, but yes. No, not, not before you ran. What do you mean? You said something about ground shop. He had a number 15 on his head. You're just, I, I don't know how you didn't see it, but those things over there have the same number. Okay. Why he didn't blow up is beyond me, maybe because he was pinned but I'm not willing to take the gamble with the others here. A baby turbo fox lays on a table in front of the computer with a cord sticking out the back of its head, connecting to the massive 100 foot tall screen. Images flash on this, this screen, all from the perspective of the turbo fox. Oh no. Going from the baby cuddling its mother, flashes to another scene where the baby is chasing one of those butterflies you both saw on Antilla, and it continues on as if it's reliving its life a much louder than she was through the intercoms core speaks up oh hello there glad you can make it only 20 percent upload remains 20 percent what, what is your fascination with this thing simply knowledge it seems like a pathetic excuse to put something like that in what you contraption that you have it in my dear Decepticon, you will have your turn. <laughs> no, my dear planet. <laughs> I don't think I will. Well, I'm sorry you feel this way. I'm only doing what is best for you and your kind. For eons you all have tortured yourselves and others. I'm here to help guide you. To make you better for him. And on the screen, pictures of Alpha Trion appear, showing Trion sharing knowledge with what looks like a smaller version of Core, the computer. With each new image, Core begins to get larger and requiring more storage to hold new knowledge from Alpha Trion, who brings with him back from his journeys, until finally we're brought to the current version, using in the entire planet as storage. We then see images of Alpha Trion bringing mechanical refugees to the planet from ongoing wars. Each of them bring in their own new stories and information for Kor to share. An image then appears showing Kor connecting to one of these refugees and uploading their information to her databases. The last image flashes by quickly, showing a somewhat disappointed Alpha Trion leaving the planet. Then Kor continues. He is disappointed in you all and I must fix you. You come to my planet to provide me with more stories and resources so that I may make you the best you can be. When was the last time you saw Alpha Trion? At that point, 
two bots that look like they belong to the Decepticon Seeker class disconnect from either side of this massive room, transform and fly over to the bridge and land directly in front of you both, raising their null rays. You won't be needing to worry about that. Core says. Roll initiatives. Oh boy. Eleven. Nat twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean oh myself. This is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks Bless like uh, <laughs> Wolfer is going first. Are, are they like kind of like in front of us? Like one's in front of me yeah. and one's in front of Eight Wheeler? Yeah, I, so I, I get... you both are standing in front of this room still, and the bridge is in front of you, connecting this room to Core, and they landed on the bridge in front of you both. Okay, I will just go ahead and try and smack the one in front of me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and hit him with my. Uh, my uh my crossbow okay you certainly can try <laughs> oh okay sure yeah four yeah so you <laughs> you try to hit with your crossbow but it just kind of <laughs> onto the ground i got the smarts he got the bronze that's what's going on here uh with <laughs> that it's eight wheelers turn <laughs> okay uh first i want to talk to core do the i'll help or anything uh core i'm busy at the moment you're busy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna still talk. No matter. I don't need your answer at the moment. You can continue working. But are you sure Alpha Trion is disappointed on us and not you? Absolutely, my sparkling. Absolutely. Have you ever stopped to think about what you're doing here, and downloading other bots' memory cortex into your own memory bank? For a brief moment. For a brief moment. Every moment. Every moment, okay. And you don't see any problems with that? None. I'm here to help. Here to help. How are you helping them? By removing free will. I remove the chances you will make the wrong choices. Everything. I'm not going to talk sense into this thing. <laughs> well, free will always win. We will see. Just shoot the seeker in front of me. Okay. See how that goes. Come on. Don't fail me now. So, 13. Yep. That hits. Oh, I'm using my fusion. Okay. The fusion cannon. Uh, five points of damage. Really? I got a one on the D12. Your fusion cannon fires, but it doesn't, like, blast as hard as it normally does. It does hit the Seeker in front of you, like, straight on, but they only take one step back, but continue forward. I'm gonna have them both go at the same time. One's gonna go after you, eight-wheeler, and then the other one's gonna go after, um, Wolfer. We're gonna go eight-wheeler first. Twelve. Uh, that hits. Uh, so they got their null rays open, and they're gonna open fire. Wait, are we, am I still with my power links, or is that gone? That's gone. You have to okay. activate it again. Okay. No problem. Six. Uh, okay. I am very hurt. Uh, the second one's gonna go after you, Wolfer. Standing. For seven. Eh. No. So yeah, it's gonna miss, and then that's gonna bring us right back to you, Wolfer. All right. I will try to do another smack with my. Uh, this time I'm gonna use my dual pistols. Okay. Not even gonna try out the new weapon I gave you. I see. No, it's fine. That's okay. No, it's fine. No, you don't. You don't need to use it. It's it's okay. The new weapon? Are you talking about the crossbow? <laughs> no. I just messed with it. The sword. Oh, the sword. Is, I, I, I. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You know why? It's because my weapon sheet's maxed out, and I didn't put anything else on there. I need to like copy paste the whole like the whole new layer. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my items and others. Okay. Uh, first of all, the sword. Uh, I don't know what the damage does. I'm yeah. The it damage. The Mandalorian sword. One D one hundred. Yes. Wait. How how you know that? No. I, it can't be a D one hundred. Come on. No, it's not a D one hundred. I already I already typed it. Trying to figure out where I wrote it down. I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, you know what? How about this? I'm gonna. No, no, never mind. I'll save it for later. <laughs> I was gonna throw the grenade. <laughs> hey, you might get two for one. Well, they I mean, are they are next. I want to save other, it for right? later because I wanna. I wanna. Yes, they are next to each other. All I know is I'm at two health, Wolfer. Oh, can I actually use one of my actions to toss him a uh, a health pack? Yeah, you can use your bonus. Okay, I'm gonna use my bonus action and toss uh, a wheeler a health pack. Okay. To roll to catch it? No, I don't roll to catch it. <laughs> you are I'm not, a generous I'm not god! Pure, I'm not pure evil here now. <laughs> come on, come Blessed on. Blessed to be him! <laughs> Thank you, Where's Wolf. I appreciate it. Pretty banged up over here. You're welcome. I'll expect repayment after this. <laughs> uh, keep my word. 
So go ahead and roll the hit before you. Is this a strength? Yes, it's plus strength. <laughs> it's really the damage will be one d eight, but you will get a bonus roll. Um, I I toss the sword to eight with. That's fair. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm gonna toss him the sword and then shoot is, him with the crossbow. What is your strength modifier? <laughs> Minus two. Oh, I only have plus one though. So <laughs> you only have what? I, I guess I I only have a plus one, so I don't know how much. That's three better than what I got. <laughs> okay, you have the sword. You have the sword. Since I'm not expecting the sword, I kind of fumble it, and I'm like, okay. whoa, oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna try and whip out my dual pistols and go gung ho on the guy in front of me. Okay. okay we're, we're just gonna roll for no seven. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. So again, you take your guns out this time because you're like, I'm not using my crossbow, and your guns get kind of like jammed. For a second, and they don't shoot. And with that, it is eight wheeler's turn. Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Healing, like using the bandage, is a bonus action. Okay, go ahead and do that. So I'll just do that. How much was it for the healing? Is a D eight, a D ten for health kit? Yeah, I think it was a D eight. D eight. Eight. Good job. Thank you. Yay, that's seven. First try. First try. Yep. The other one didn't happen. Back at nine. Yeah, after I bandage myself, I just gotta I gotta use guns i don't trust my melee weapons right now <laughs> all right so you're gonna do your gun yeah i'm gonna do, I'll okay. do, do the fusion roll it's 11 that'll do it yep okay. and how do you want to do this Let's see if i get enough uh it's four four so that's just it's it's a lot but it's not it's like one shy so he's very very beat up he's very beat up he's not looking too great but you do blast him and that one does bring him to his knees but he gets back up <sighs> As if against his will. Won't you stay down? Uh, and now we'll go with the uh, seeker that's attacking you for five, who's going to miss. Yes. Probably because they're not feeling too great. <laughs> then we're going to go with the seeker that's attacking you, Wolfer. Very convenient. For seven, and you are golden. Yeah, you, it's not going to hit you for that. Really, Core, if you really cared about your defenses, you wouldn't hire or wouldn't have created these pathetic things. And back to the top with Wolfer. <laughs> <laughs> she just ignored you. Completely. She does completely ignore you. She does not care. <laughs> Dang, I'm trying to smack talk and all I get is a wall. Okay, uh, we go again with the pistols. There's a 12 hit. Yes. Outstanding. Seven. Yeah, so you, you do a double zap. It's not quite enough to knock him down, but you do definitely see it taking its toll. Dang it. And then it's eight wheeler. Yeah, I don't want to waste the ammo from a fusion. I use my ice pistol. Okay. Uh, it's uh, 27. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, uh, whatever you roll is going to be enough to do because it's only at one health. How would you like to do this? Kind of tired of Core messing with us and seeing Ground Chop back there and not being able to help him. I'm just tired and I just shoot him in the head, not even thinking. Gotcha. So the ice goes through its head like a spear, and it crystallizes as this bot falls backwards and it shatters. That was five. Yeah, that's gonna do it. It's it's dead. And then we're back to the bot that's fighting uh, Wolfer. That's a natural one. <laughs> this one is going to fall on its face and shoot itself. Nice. Outstanding. And I'll it shoot itself for max damage. It is dead. It explodes. <laughs> it explodes. Good job, work. So there you are. End of combat here. Clearly, Core, this isn't the best you can offer. Don't taunt her. Oh, wow. There is only more where that came from. Outstanding. I can't wait to see how many more suicides until we get this result. While they're talking, is it possible for me to try to shoot the cable off to the... Yes, let me let me finish core real quick. Okay, bro. Something is not right. None of my guards appear to be responding. A massive control panel then exposes itself from under the computer next to the Turbo Fox. And then core continues. Oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. And then at this point, this is where you come in, 8-wheeler, pointing your gun, trying to aim it towards the cord that connects to the Turbo Fox. Core sees you do this and says, I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you sever the cord without canceling the upload sequence, your little friend will be nothing but a sparkless paperweight. I'm gonna shut you down. No response. I'll suffer. You have a weak spot. Let's get into that. Outstanding. Room that just opened. I 
I try to find it. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, the the compartment that just opened. And oh yes, like, oh, the control panel. Yep. Oh, it was a control. I thought it was like like a door to a room. On- nope, it's like a keyboard. Oh. Is it faster if I transform? And- it, it'd just- be about the same because it's not too far away, but it's just annoyingly where if you transform into a car, you, you'd be only in car mode for like two seconds. Okay. So you rush over there. What do you do? Are you good with computers, Wolfer? Well, uh, I'm not much of a hacker. I I can say I know how to use the search engine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Either one of us could try it. <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Whoever is trying, roll me both a D100 oh, no. and an intelligence check. 97. That's not it, bad. There you go. 97. Uh, now the intelligence check. Not to our dirty 20. Nice. So you're able to unhook this cord. It pops off. I don't know what you do. You... Somewhat know what you're doing. The Turbo Fox makes a little, a little yimper, but it's still not moving. I'll be honest with you. That's the best I can do. You did better than I could have done. Let's go. Let's go check on a, this little buddy here. A bell goes off, and flashing across the big screen, a massive timer in deep red shows numbers decreasing from 15, 14, 13, and then Cole responds. It appears you have activated my self-destruct sequence. Perfect. Well, that makes this easy. It does. We run. <laughs> well, the, the ship is here. We're missing the pilot. I can pilot. Well, we're missing the owner then. <laughs> Three. I don't think we have time. Two. To the What's this? What's this thing doing here in the way? Get it out of the way. So before you can make it into the ship, the entire room swells with fire and explosions. <laughs> Everything goes dark. Everything that's just happened, is gone. We find ourselves back in what used to be a repair room, filled with chunks of rubble, wires, and a hole in the ceiling. The hologram of Alpha Trion continues to flicker on its side. Ground Trop's fingers closes and expand back up. His optics slowly brighten to a soft orange. The beam he is under covers most of him, only exposing his left hand and his head. You can't tell due to the rubble if he's being crushed or if the it's just pinning him down. The room you are in looks like a dead end due to the rubble and debris blocking or covering the only entrance or exit. But luckily for you, it appears that the beam, when falling through the floors, has ripped open a hole into one of the walls, exposing a crack big enough for a small wolf-like bot to slip through. What do you do? Uh, do we still have like memories of what just happened or just, are we just kind of like... We're going to restart on those memories, bud. Okay. But you can react differently. Okay. No, that's just, just that's what I wanted to know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to run to ground chop once again. Wait, so this whole thing reset? Yes. Yes, but we don't but we don't have memories of it. From okay. Uh, so we, we wouldn't know. Uh, okay. Do I see... Can I look around? Yeah, roll me a perception. What are you looking for? <laughs> well, I know I'm not looking for the crack in the wall, but I'm really looking for the crack in the wall. Yes. <laughs> not 20. Obviously see a crack in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it is there. It is beautiful. You're so excited for it. <laughs> oh boy, here I go, crack in the wall. <laughs> Eight with a can you roll me a intelligence check. Here we go again. 15. Perfect. Uh, this time... You do see the number on Ground Chop's forehead, and it's the number 16. Oh. And it's at this point, we fade to black, and then we reappear in a dark lit room, also known as Kor's Lair, with Eight Wheeler and a small Zephyr laying on a slab, with the baby Turbo Fox between them on a much smaller slab, each connected with a cord to the back of their head. We slowly pan out, now viewing the monitor, and we can see the Turbo Fox is at 85% upload, and both of our heroes are now at 20%. We see the letters begin to type out across the screen. Now running, simulation 16. A decapitated wolfer body is laying next to the slab, next to Zephyr. (laughs) Kor's voice is heard echoing throughout the room. Interesting. Very interesting. (laughs) We fade to black once more. Somewhere, 
out in space, we see a mechanical asteroid, much like the one that crash landed on Antilla in episode 3, speeding across space, then makes an unnatural 30 degree turn and it appears to be heading towards a whole new direction. 